When a man loves you for real, he may express that in various different ways. But today, we are talking about what a man will say when he's deeply in love with you. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now look, Actions are important, but words are important too. So I want you to pay close attention to what a man says, how he says it, and when he says it, if you think that he is potentially in love with you. So we are going to get into these five words, these five sentences, these five phrases that a man will say when he's into you. And I'm gonna give y'all a little bonus at the end too. And while we're here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay connected with all of the weekly videos that I have coming your way. But before we move on, I want you to comment below. Tell me, how do you know when a man is truly in love with you? Because I need the tea. And before we get into this list, I just have to say that if your love language is words of affirmation, this list is going to be lovely to you. This list is going to empower you and you're going to feel really loved and appreciated because this is what you naturally crave, which is those words. Acts of service is not your thing. Gifts is not your thing. Quality time is not your thing. Physical touch is not your thing. But words of affirmation, <laughs> that's your jam. So the first one is simple. It's I love you. This is the simplest form of a man telling you that they really do love you. And even though it may be simple, those three little words are powerful. They hold so much weight. And I know we're in this society where we say, oh, love you, love you, love you. But listen, I'm here to tell y'all to put an eye on that thing. It hits differently when you put the I love you because it allows you to take on that ownership to say, I'm taking responsibility for the fact that I have deep, intimate feelings, romantic feelings to you, for you, and with you. And I want you to know that. So I love you goes a very long way. And hearing those words from a man really does tell you, especially when he means it for real and he not just saying it to have sex with you or he not just saying it because you pressured him to or he's not saying it for the wrong reasons, but it does allow you to have that emotional connection and that deep affection with him that you can foster into other areas of your relationship. Now, number two, is him saying, you mean the world to me. Now, when I'm giving y'all these phrases and these sentences, I don't want you to get so caught up on word for word what I'm saying. And you're like, well, he didn't say the I and he didn't say the you, so Keandra was wrong. Listen, it may be some variation of these things that I'm telling you, but you should get the premise of what I'm trying to say. So for this one, you mean the world to me shows so much. It really shows that you are the center of his world. That don't mean you his everything. It just means you're the center of his world and that you hold a very special place in his heart. And that place is extremely, extremely special because no other person, no other woman has or will have and hold that space. There's something sacred about him telling you that you mean the world to me because you're holding space that no other woman can feel. Now, he may have had relationships in the past, he may have been in love before, he may have been married before, whatever the situation is, but you are uniquely you, boo. You know what I say, can't nobody do it like you. So regardless of if he's experienced love before, he ain't never experienced a love like this. I never knew a love, a love, a love like this. <laughs> That's common for people who didn't know. Moving on to number three, a man saying, I can't see my life without you says so much. This really conveys to you that you are an integral part of his life. Meaning that if you weren't there, he really wouldn't know how to function. He really wouldn't know what to do. His life would be completely different if you were not an active, present person in his life. And what I love about this one is that it's futuristic. So that means he can't see his future without you. 
And for the people like me who want to get married one day, this really gives you an indicator that this man is planning to be with you long term, whether that is a long term relationship, whether that is him proposing and you guys eventually getting married. It's saying I can't live my life without you, boo. I need for you to be in my life eternally or for a very long time. And I love the fact that that includes the futuristic parts of this because you are in his future plans and that's always a good thing. And number four, a man will say this when he's truly in love with you, when he says, you make me a better person. I would probably say that this is one of my favorite ones out of the list because it doesn't just speak to the fact that he loves you and we're all in our feelings, but it speaks to the fact that you are helping him to evolve, to grow, to develop into being a better person. And not just a better person for the world, but a better person for himself. We should all have our own goals and things that we wanna to strive to, to be a better person, whether that's emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally, what a relationally, it does not matter when someone says that you help me to be a better person. That means that you are on this journey of growth with him and you are an integral part of that process. And if you weren't a part of the process, we don't know if the growth and the level of achievement would have been achieved. So there are some women who have this innate, and I think a lot of us, probably all of us have it, but all of us haven't tapped into it really innate quality and ability to pull something out of a man, to pull something out of our partner, to help them go to the next level. And I think that it's so powerful for us to acknowledge and realize how much power we have. We have the power to create, we have the power to give life literally by having children, but what your words and what your actions say also are powerful and they're also life giving. You know, the word says that life and death is in the power of the tongue. So we have the power to create life and to allow things to grow and flourish, but we also have the capacity to say things and to do things that is going to create death. We don't want that in our relationship. It's life and life more abundantly over here. And truth be told, when a man desires to want to be better and notices that because you are in his life, he is better, he's gonna want to pour back into you in any way possible. And that's a beautiful thing when a man acknowledges that he has a woman on his side that he can just really grow with that really shares where he's like, man, there isn't anything I wouldn't be willing to do for you. There isn't anything that I wouldn't want to buy you, to give you, to share with you, to experience with you. And that feels good when you're on the receiving end. And so we know that relationships are all about reciprocity. So just much as you are giving to him, helping him foster and to experience that love, you want that to be reciprocated. And so in order for someone to love us, we also have to be in a space where we're lovable. We also have to be in a space where we receive that love, right? So it's important for us to stand in our own power, in our own authority and say, listen, you make me better. You are amazing. I don't wanna spend my life without you. Those words go so much further because listen, if you eventually want to have children, making someone a better person or being on that journey with them can only help the next generation and the generation after that and the generation after that. Number five, the fifth way that you know that a man is deeply in love with you if he says, I'm here for you no matter what. I love this one as well because it speaks to his availability to you. It speaks to the fact that whatever you need, whether it's financially, whether it's physically, whether it's emotionally, whether it's spiritually, he's able to show up and be present with you. So that means that when you are in a vulnerable spot, when you are having a bad day, when you are having a negative experience, he's going to show up for you. You got a flat tire on the side of the road, you know you can count on him because he's gonna pull up <laughs> with the extra tire or you know doing what he needs to do or if he's not even handy like that, he gonna call AAA, he gonna call a tow truck, he gonna pull up to make sure that you're safe. He is going to make sure that you are good. So when a man makes himself available by saying, I'm here for you no matter what, you should really trust that. He should probably 
have a track record at this point of being consistently there for you. Because it's one thing to say, I'm here for you no matter what, but then you have a track record of doing the opposite, right? That's when we don't believe him. But if he has a track record of being consistent, he has a track record of being a man of excellence and being ap operating in those two words that I love to say, right? Excellence and integrity, operating in that even with you, it says so much. And so just allow him to be those things for you. If you need something, allow him to show up for you. If you want something, allow him to get it to you and for you. It's okay for us not to have to do all of the things for ourselves all the time. And so it just really goes into what I was talking about in a previous video of mine, where I was explaining that we can take off the S off of our chest, especially if you're a woman, a black woman, we try to do all of the things for ourselves and be super woman. And I understand that a lot of us had to be super <laughs> in so many cases because of life circumstances. But when you find a good man woo, and he genuinely loves you and cares about you, let him do that. Because when you allow him to do that, and it's a good exchange. He's just gonna wanna love on you, love on you even more than you gonna wanna love on him. And then it's just gonna be a good old healthy dynamic. And last but not least, here's that bonus that I told you guys about. The bonus and the fifth way and the fifth thing that a man will say when he is for real deeply in love with you is that I wanna spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> this right here is the ultimate I love you, okay? Now, it depends on who you are and what you desire in your relationship. If you're not the type of person that want to be in a long-term relationship or even want to get married, then this part ain't for you, boo. But for the people who do desire that and do desire that commitment at a high level, a man saying that he wants to spend the rest of his life with you is everything. This is saying no matter what, out of all of the females, <laughs> all of the women that I could have been with, I am choosing you. I am choosing to do life with you. I am choosing to have so many more life experiences with you and you're my person. There's nothing like being chosen. And I think that's the beautiful part in what us women love so much about being engaged and getting proposed to is because we're finally chosen and we don't always have the say so over the time frame of that, when, the who, the we don't always have all of the details. And that's the part that we struggle with the most. But when you find somebody who's going to commit to you at that high level, it really should allow you to just rest a little bit knowing that you found your person and that you are going to spend hopefully the rest of your lives together with that person as long as you guys are pouring into each other, growing, evolving, and working through any issues that may come your way. So here's my final thoughts on this whole entire thing. Even though we were specifically talking about words and phrases and sentences that a man would say to you when he is deeply in love, I firmly believe that words and actions still need to align because you got men who will say all of the right things. They will woo you down to the ground, honey. You're like, ooh, he told me this. He said this, yes. But then he don't do what he's supposed to do, right? And so you got men who will do all of the things and show up for you and experience and do all of that, but he will never say those things, right? And so that's why I believe there needs to be a combination of both of those things. There needs to be the doing and the saying. There needs to be the saying and the doing. And those things together is what really allows a woman to firmly believe that what this man is saying and doing is true because those things are aligned and they are a match. And so if you are a man watching this video, make sure you're doing both and. That's my words too. Both and, right? It's not either or over here. It is both and. I'm telling you I love you and I'm showing you I love you. Love to me is a verb. <laughs> It, it's a verb, okay? So that means there needs to be some action behind that thing. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra, and I will see you next time. Bye.